Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. It's tense in Englewood after police shot a suspect this afternoon. That was followed by a confrontation between angry residents and officers. CBS 2's Stephen Graves is live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Stephen? Hey Jim, yeah, police saying that misinformation sparked all of this widespread outrage when everything was said and done here. Like you said, someone shot. We're talking property damage, citizens, and an officer injured. Chicago police say it started around 2.30 this afternoon. Officers responding to Inglewood for the report of a man with a gun. They find him in an alley near 57th and Racine. As officers chased him as he ran, they say he fired the gun. Police fired back, hitting and injuring him. Medics took the suspect to the hospital, but word of the incident left outrage behind. Video show crowds gathering about an hour later. More police flood in. Tense moments follow as clashes spark up. Police say over misinformation about multiple things, including the suspect's age. Word spreading on social media, it was a boy, something police refute. Late teens, early 20s. Just misinformation all the way around. As time went on, police say crowds got aggressive. We did have an officer that was maced by someone in the crowd. We do have an officer that sustained a shoulder injury. One of our vehicles, the windows were. Uh, shattered. But it's a different story from community activists who came out, one telling CBS2 officers were abrasive and they had to calm the situation down. Police, I, I watched a police officer grab a young man and pull him in with his shirt and beat him up and kick him in the face. They left his blood on the ground. You know, um, I watched the police whoop another young man and throw him in the back of the car. Police say they arrested two people related to the clashes. The condition of the shooting suspect is unknown. Tonight, activists urging better policing, while police urge a more community awareness. And just to see that is disturbing to me because when will police ever practice community engagement? When will they practice anything that deals with mediating conflict? This right here is a direct response to one agitator being on the scene getting people all worked up without having the full story. And tonight to get to that real story, we have requested any body cam footage that is out there. We'll bring it to you if we get any right now. We know COPA is also investigating this. The three officers involved in that shooting we're told right now are on administrative leave. Reporting at Chicago Police Headquarters, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thank you.